The UFC really likes Alex Pereira. He's only had two fights in the UFC, only six in his MMA career. He's not ranked, but they are planning on having him bypass 10 guys in the rankings and take on number four ranked Sean Strickland at UFC 277 this summer. This is one of the fastest promotional pushes ever by the UFC. They really want a new and interesting challenger for Adesanya, and Alex would definitely be that guy because he has two wins over Izzy, the last one a devastating KO. And if Alex does beat Strickland, then he'll probably get the next title shot versus Adesanya, assuming that Adesanya Adesanya beats Cannoneer. Alex would be the only option if he beats Strickland because Whitaker has already lost twice to Adesanya and he just lost to him recently. Same story with Vittori. Brunson's falling in and out of love with retirement and just lost. So if Alex beats Strickland, he'd be the guy to fight Adesanya. But does he beat Strickland? Probably not unless Strickland decides to fight a pure stand-up fight like he did versus Jack Hermanson and most of his recent fights. If he does that, he'll probably get knocked out. But as wild as Strickland can come across he's intelligent enough to know that it's stupid to strike with Alex and he has a clear path to winning by using his wrestling and ground skills. Although the odds don't favor it a crazy possibility that the UFC has created is Alex beating Strickland and then beating Adesanya to become the UFC champ in just four fights. How do you see these fights going? Let me know in the comments section below.